In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you, and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise, and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading is from the Entrance Psalm for last Sunday, also called the Intro It, portions of Psalm 119. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous works. My soul melts away for sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Put false ways far from me and graciously teach me your law. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I set your just decrees before me. I will cling to your testimonies, O Lord. Let me not be put to shame. I will run in the way of your commandments when you enlarge my heart. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous works. The psalmist says, My soul melts away for sorrow. We certainly have many examples in our lives where our souls are full of sorrow. They melt away. The sorrows drag us down, fill us with grief and angst and trouble. We don't have to look very far to find trouble and causes for sorrow in our families, in our community, in our world, inside ourselves, and among those we love and care for. My soul melts away for sorrow. But then the psalmist says, Strengthen me according to your word. The psalmist's strength is only in the Lord. He is the one who sustains us. He is the one who pulls us through. I will cling to your testimonies, O Lord. We cling to him, but he clings to us and holds us close through our deepest sorrow and our biggest troubles. On Wednesdays, we pray for marriage and family, that husbands and wives, parents and children live in ordered harmony according to God's word. We pray for parents and grandparents and others who must raise children alone, and we pray for our communities and our neighborhoods. We pray also for those who've asked our prayers, especially Allegra and Connie, Cindy, Darren, Deacon and Debbie, Esther, Ed and Eve. Graham and Jackson, Jacob, Jerry, and Jim, John, Joshua, and Judy, Justin, Kate, and Lisa, Mark and Pat, Rachel and Sarah and Sue Ellen, and Tessa, and the family and friends of Patricia, the family and friends of Tim, the family and friends of Dustin, and the family and friends of Eric, and all those who grieve the loss of loved ones. We also pray for Virginia Clip, who celebrates her birth today. We pray for the students of the preschool and staff and their families as we celebrate uh, all, as we have all preschool chapel today, this morning. We also pray for those who will attend worship this evening at 630. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you've kept us this night from all harm and danger. And we pray that you would keep us this day also from sin and every evil that all our doings in life may please you. For into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies and souls, and all things. Let your holy angel be with us, that the evil foe may have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll be streaming again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. We gather this evening at 6.30 p.m. for worship at Faith Lutheran Church, 6000 West, State Road 46 in Columbus, Indiana.